so we'll jump straight into Da Vinci. This is the clip that I have been working on. And this is a typical situation where Da Vinci has a really hard time stabilizing this footage. If you would stabilize this footage with Da Vinci's own tools, it would end up with something like this, which does not solve the problem at all. Or something like this, which also does not solve the problem at all. I find it really hard to stabilize this footage, but I've been playing around some with the fusion tools and I do think that this result makes it so so that you can use part of the clip and it does make a difference with this tracking method. So in order for you to get this to this, We're gonna use uh, we're gonna use a tracker from inside of Fusion. So this is the unedited clip. So we take this clip and then we go into Fusion, and then we mark the media in node, and then we press Shift Shift Space. We type in tracker. It will add in the tracker node, and then what we'll do is that we're gonna pick a spot inside of the scene that we think this tracker is gonna be able to track. I picked this fishing pole here. I've tried a lot of things on the boat but since the camera go around the whole object it's very tricky for it to track. So you draw it out like that. And then you'll press this play button here and it will track through the whole scene. So you have to play around a lot with this tracker function in order for you to get a decent track of an object that you can then match your whole video to. And what you do then when you have tracked your object, then you go to operations, then you'll press operation and then you press match move. And then you have a, another option, which is Merge. And then you pick Background only there. And now your whole video will match the movement of this tracker. Also very important is that you have this clip and that you have, have it zoomed in. Because if you have not had it zoomed in like this, you will see the image will jump around a bit since it's gonna match the move of the tracker. In this case it's not a lot so you would not have to move in the image that much but as you can see here in the corners it moves. So you have to zoom in in order for you to get away from those movements. This is not perfect by any means what you also can do is you can refine the whole tracking process and sit with it for a whole lot in order for you to smooth it out, but pretty simple. You press the tracker and then you press spline up here. Then you will get all the tracking points that is had taken out. And a very simple thing that you can do is you can zoom out here and you can mark everything, right click and press smooth. This hopefully will make the tracking a bit better. Maybe a little. So, so I just wanted to share this because I think it's a really good tool and from time to time you can really get your footage to be smooth. This is a very hard clip for for you to use this as a stabilization thing but you can play around and see what you find in here and i think that you will find this tool to be useful so good luck with your project see you in another video